Mm. Monday morning, eh? Well, Monday afternoon now. I got up late. And, uh, was up late last night, moving stuff about. So, took the, uh, been making room for the dogs. So we got uh, more room for the winter. Yeah, just had a couple of Amazon deliveries. My new draining board. Cool, cool, cool. Self draining from underneath. A couple of bits. Uh, mend the zip on my jacket. So, stitching another zip over the top of the other zip. I've got a little bit to do, so I thought I saw that might as well get one of them. Got uh, a new implement for the kitchen. free player to go with me Bluetooth ear pods so we've got a new set up with the TV in here the unit's now up on the top there and the camera with the tablet goes in that window same height as the photo so the front cams Literally just underneath the telly. Um, a bit of an overcast day today, so I'm not in a rush to do anything. Um, I've got to sort some bills, and I got my new TV remote control. <laughs> so I've got the big telly back in here now. Now I don't have to squint at everything. So I've got a nice new draining board for me washing up. Gone, gone is now the plastic, manky, mouldy, mildew fucking attracting thing. And I've got something that I can just clean easily. <coughs> a lot better, isn't it? So, go and crack on with that today. Um, haven't heard any, uh, excuse me, I haven't heard any more about that yet. To be quite honest, I'm not expecting to. It's ridiculous. So. Yeah, I'm out of coffee, so having a nice refreshing. Uh, peach and lemon tea. Tried the uh, all the dogs in the hallway. Uh, sorry, all the dogs in the bedroom last night. Lola ended up in the dog bed, but Willow tried to move her out of it a few times during the night, and then gave up and jumped up on the bed when I was asleep. <laughs> just making her lay on the floor uh, but she managed to creep on the bed quietly in the night and settle herself down without being a problem um, I left the bedroom door open only trouble was yeah they used the hallway as a toilet so I've got a bit of cleaning up to do when I get out oh dear so you know what's going to happen when um, it gets wet and horrible and cold outside. They're going to be using the hallway as the toilet, aren't they? And I'll be constantly mopping and cleaning it up. It's not a problem. It's always okay. It's never left for long periods of time, so the house doesn't constantly stink of it. And that's why I don't have carpet or lino in the hallway. 
you can't with dogs even with wooden flooring it gets underneath it and it stinks so no point my boys on their own can hold themselves together so I can go out during the day but the girls just dirty girls aren't they <laughs> sorry girls why can't girls hold themselves as the same as boys is it a dominance thing or a pheromone thing or what ah oh dear right I'm going to roll myself a ciggy I think I'm just listening to this thing about the uh New World Health Organisation Treaty. A very New World Orderish. I let it play when I'm rolling one, yeah. self-define our government and the system under which we want to live. Most of all, we want to have an effective protection of human rights. Yes. So what we see are here these six points. And the good message about these very concerning elements is we can see them very clearly within the international health regulations. So they are in front of our eyes. And so I briefly give an overview and just a brief summary of what, in my view, is, are the most uh, frightening uh, elements within these new amendments. So number one, the, the mechanism, that already existing mechanism for self-authorization of the WHO by mere declaration of a public health emergency of international concern. So the abbreviation for that is fake. Um, so this mechanism is extended, is widely extended, uh, not only to really threatening uh, diseases, but even to new variants of uh, flu, common flu, or even, as I said, under this concept of one health, it is extended to problems of climate change uh, or oh, right. problems of whatever we find in the environment to be a potential threat. So that opens the door actually to a total abuse of power and so WHO can declare an uh, emergency situation for the entire globe without any real reason, without any justification and most of all there will be no remedy, no mechanism to revise this decision. There will be no checks and balances for that part. A public health emergency of international concern is what I say it is existing when I say it does. This is correct. This is fast. <laughs> they just need to whisper it into the microphone yeah. in, in Geneva and yeah. call it out, and that will change uh, the ordinary course of the entire <coughs> Bloody Can you yeah. imagine? Yeah. Without any proof, without any real substance and evidence, they can just call it out and extend it extended, extended, as we have seen it already, it was declared for three, more than three years for the purpose of COVID-19. So that we will see more of the same in the future. And the World then, Health Organization has been bad enough over these previous three years, based on the very weak powers given by the 2005 International Health Regulations. What are, yes. like with the draconian powers for the, uh, the amendments that will be Absolutely. passed in 2024, doesn't bear thinking about. Absolutely, John. That's exactly the concern. Now, for two, no, point number two, we see clear evidence in this new wording that the recommendations that so far were meant to be just 
non-binding recommendations will in the future have the character to be legally binding. And we can, if so somebody would trade. object to that, uh, go Im immediately into uh, the respective provisions, the amendments. And it says further down others, about censorship. And Article 32. End of justice. End but of there's democracy. a whole set also and regime of supervising the implementation of uh, any new legally binding recommendation for the future. So if one member state even thinks, oh, we're not going to apply uh, mRNA-based vaccines, we are rather trying it with vitamin D and with good physical exercise, um, then this government will be put on the watch list and there will be the World Ooh. Health Assembly to uh, decide about sanctions against this government. So we can see that very clearly. The number three, which in my view is actually uh, the most concerning one, because WHO uh, shall be granted the global privilege of exercising the information monopoly, information control, with the right to censorship, and of course the right of which manipulating turn... the people. This shall become the new normal Make and of course we have seen that already more coercive in, years. We see it in now convincing you that you have to take to maintain on YouTube or on Facebook an, a, a, a deviating uh, opinion the and scientific information as soon as it has come as it comes to mRNA based vaccines or any critics against WHO. There you go, critics. So that's already in place. Uh, we have seen that the way in this uh, event 201 exercise, uh, chapter number four, they speak explicitly in October 19, 2019, they explicit, speak explicitly about this, what they call infodemic, they <coughs> say, oh, wrong information might be as dangerous as a virus itself, so we have to fight against infodemic, so we have to fight against so oh, they have to fight against disinformation as well. Here comes the censorship opinion, bit. If there's only one information and source of Here comes the censorship then bit. ultimately you cannot have any science. You cannot have any true so judicial no system. No trials. And ultimately you don't have any democracy. It's so the same thing again. Truth is when I say it is. Existing when I say it is. And you're not allowed to disagree. This is just totalitarian. It's this is the way to totalitarianism. It's a perfect tool in the hand of every dictator, and we must oppose then they, this. Principle. Then that will give them because the power to declare a, a uh, an outbreak somewhere, to have this of control the press, of speech, uh, be protected. Uh, shut down the internet if necessary, no, while away. they Monday cure. Days the problem uh, that's happening uh, in a certain country all discreetly like so um then and, and for wow for, which is very uh you know concerning and that's no an one's allowed to talk point. about There's it no, no one's system <laughs> wow. or mechanism that would actually challenge would it allow to challenge who's decision and uh recommendations so no checks and balances excuse me no checks and balances um which is a part, a very normal part, of every government, of every democracy, uh, of every mechanism of power, in order to make sure... No accountability, quality, full immunity, quality, full tax exemption, this, we don't have it here. They didn't no even fundamental try to human rights or human dignity. With respect to the past three years. So they didn't wow. hold an after wow. action review, the something that is done in every government that is done in military, that is done everywhere where humans do and undertake a huge investment with an external effect, you know. So this basic <coughs> principle of... I think even China would say no to that, wouldn't it? Uh, ...was not performed by the basically for the past. So can take over the, the Chinese state as well. ...part of this uh, new set like of that, North Russia. relations. That's very concerning. And so number five, all this briefly said, only comes course, in if they, they win the war. Remember, anyway, but they're starting. Accountability for
for whatever they are doing. They so there's no win incentive the war first to make all this to work. Uh, there's no incentive for the WHO. Bit overconfident, aren't they? Um, and they are even protected by full immunity. And here in Switzerland, they have their domicile. They even enjoy full tax exemption. So this is an absolute, you know. So all the funding they get the for whatever they're bringing yes, in. Actually, uh, recipe, <laughs> they get to put straight in their bank accounts, like, with no tax exemption. There will be no accountability, no punishment whatsoever. And so ultimately, question number six, with respect to fundamental rights, you don't even have to ask whether they want to write it back again into the International Health Regulations, Article 3, Paragraph 1. It will not matter, even if they would re introduce uh, the fundamental rights principle in Article 3, Paragraph uh, 1 of the International Health Regulations. Hoxter? I see no chance for uh, an listening protection of to a master's? human dignity as long as the entire population <laughs> and the judges and uh, the politicians you will sit there and do as you're told. One global Tell me what truth. I want to know. So Answer my questions. You know that all these substances, they are super, <laughs> uh, they are super safe and oh, they make us strong. Get off of it. You, know, you ain't going to do me washing up, are you, Lola? The get the fuck off of it. About these you. Um, you ain't going to do my washing up, are you, bitch? So I see fundamental no. and human dignity at Oi. the result such a concept as see them uh, coming to an end, there will be no effective protection possible in such a system of uh, Was that a big sigh, was it's it? It's not being too melodramatic to say that this is what previous generations have fought and died to avoid. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ah, now it's just, now it's just being taken by stealth and our politicians just seem to be saying, oh, okay, fine. It is taken by stealth Politicians don't know anything about these amendments, and they just let it happen. The only good message I have, we have, is it takes place at plain sight. So once a person with a minimum amount of responsibility, once once this person would understand, well, I'm giving my consent here, for it. Actually, nobody would probably wish to have such a uh, regime being imposed for the future uh, so for I won't the rest be taking of no lives, notice of it somebody can tell us oh now by the way we have emergency even if they're telling room, me what I've got to you do stay at home unless you I've have authorised my uh, representative to do struck. that don't dare to so it's an illegal move isn't it uh, our orders don't go for a second opinion just take it you know nobody wants to have this as our new but it's not even just our lives. I mean, we've seen in some vile regimes around the world, North Korea, for example, that the totalitarian powers have been perpetuated down several generations of a dictator, passing whole groups of people. Yes, John. This is actually the most concerning aspect here. By having established this system, it will be, become very difficult to stop it. There will be no stop button for us. They can perpetuate and even strengthen their power, the WHO power, and combine it with the power of United Nations, combine it with the power of the G7 of the WH, the WEF, World Economic Forum, and, and you know the people that are going to be ruling it, don't you? The Obamas and the Clintons um, and the so-called you know I mean? pandemic or pandemic. And you'll have names that you've uh, never you heard of, of that are wealthy individuals very wealthy bankers or something, uh, you know what I mean? This is organisation. Absolutely key here, yes. And WHO is or the Rothschilds pay their salaries, a UN worker or something, or, uh, by you know what I mean? Member states' ordinary payments. So 80% uh, of the... the they're destroying all member states, basically, at the so moment, the is what they're doing. Were extraordinary payments, and from these extraordinary payments, the built into Melinda Gates Foundation, there you go. Um, together with Gavi, which is an, actually a corporation with the purpose of selling and maximize the sales of 
and then they're um, doing something with equity, equity, equity as well to do with this. So in other words, you will own nothing and be happy. You will not own the houses. You know what I mean? You will own nothing and be happy. Everything will be digitally logged. For the producers. In England, we have a he saying uh, in, in the UK: uh, "He who pays the fiddler calls to the tune." Absolutely, that's such a great saying, making things so much easier to understand. I'm sure you have an equivalent saying in <laughs> Swiss and German and French. Yes, we do have absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. Your house, your dog, sure. yeah. everything can be Should we digitally go to the next slide, Philip? Yes, we can wrap it up. So all that together, what That's we have what they're trying now, to bring in. This new um, regime, these, you know, this revision, these new international health regulations, they are toxic by design. Um, because these amendments to the international health regulations, they allow the WHO to at any time suspend our constitutions suspend human rights and even international mandatory law uh, with a permanent effect and they can extend it forever uh, thereby assuming and abusing global power and as i said already causing maximum harm and if you go to the last slide um, all of this is done <coughs> notably with all elements of totalitarianism they can do it with propaganda with fear and um, push it through with executive power and without, obviously, our consent. Uh, we have never a chance and never a saying to say yes to these international regulations, uh, which most of what I just mentioned actually finds no legal basis in the constitution of WHO itself. There is no legal basis in the WHO constitution to make recommendations legally binding and there is no legal basis in the WHO constitution to to I'll tell you what it sounds like to me at many it sounds like people into uh, when Hitler took control and started and changing the laws consent, which obviously is not an informed consent uh, without the correct information and the each one he changed decide. And ultimately, there was will be part no of a plan to no take total can control. Forever, so he changed forever. bit, that bit, that, that bit, that bit, that bit, which is coming out exactly the same on here. It's like, amendments. Stop the process of it's like you're reading a plan book, you immediate. know what I mean? So we have to put pressure on our political representatives. We have to put on a huge pressure on Biden, Bush, and say, New World Order shit, this is of these um, amendments in itself is anti constitutional But to do it, like I said, it they've got to win the war that they're just starting. our future, our business, our lives, ultimately. So stop negotiating. And if they lose the war, then they're fucked, aren't they? Because it won't be them <laughs> doing all this. So It'll be the winners, won't it? Against which will more than likely be the Arabs and the Russians and the Chinese. The Is this affecting other countries in the world? <laughs> so, I mean, are we talking about the United States, Canada, it'll be their Australia, version of that, Switzerland, won't it? Germany, France, Scotland, England, Not everywhere. what we're being well, told here. Correct. This is just Actually what they're trying to do the before they start the war. Member states to the take WHO. full control oh. with. Yes, so that gives Got us it a now. huge potential to resist here, to unite mm. over... You know, the borders of our countries, and this is what we do already. The one thing they fear, Europe, unite, uh, with the joint unity, combined, you know, be positive. forces um, between the different countries. Even we reach out and have good cooperation with our friends in Canada and in the United States. James Rogowski does a great work. Meryl Noss from Children's Health Defense. Uh, James Corbett, um, great work here. Well, I post and about what's Meryl going on here. Of you know, <laughs> they see that. Uh, letters that can be Doesn't sent just get posted to, to my friends in, uh, to put on some in the UK, does it? 
call them to stop negotiations. Stop these negotiations. That must be our message. And it has to be the head of state actually that sends the yeah, letter. Yeah, what happened in London say, anyway? No, this is not for us. So we have to somehow um, get to heads of state. Through well, all session. I've seen is all the streets of London this blocked of rejection with thousands of thousands of people flying the Palestinian the flag. To halt these negotiations, of course, this is within. Which the was running concurrent with the situation that was being started by the state in this country. These are the members of so, the parliaments. Yeah. They are responsible to safeguard our rights, the constitutional order. I did say, and didn't I? Make sure. But the constitution is actually, will never become under. It threat. will affect London. And that was actually the purpose of the presentation of 13th September in Strasbourg. Uh, at this expert hearing um, that was granted by um, some excellent members of parliament uh, of the EU I'm parliament. I'm supporting they the innocent people that are being slaughtered at the moment. To speak out, you know, uh, Christine Anderson and uh, Virginie Joron and Christian Therese. And so all of that, that was uh, organized um, by Maria Hubmer Mock. Um, a doctor from Austria, They're under and the same threat uh, so of the purpose death of that was to shed light on this process my female dogs, from aren't they? different disciplines, not only from the legal discipline, By their state. but also from the medical same discipline, thing. and also exactly from the same the equation playing out. investigation perspective. That's how I'm viewing so it. therefore we had these eight experts there, even from the perspective of mass formation, psychology, Professor Matthias Desmet, from Belgium was there. Yeah, so psychology is involved in it all as well, of, uh, as I said. Relevant disciplines to actually One thing bring they're light enacting, the or they're acting out, we means another for, thing which has an effect in the media, thing what's playing out in so reality. Media is down despicably, in my view. I mean, if, if there were thousands of troops and tanks and helicopter gunships at our borders, we would see the threat and politicians would act. Yes. This is being done surreptitiously below the counter. This is a stealthy operation, and and to my mind, just as big a threat. This is it, absolutely. John. Yeah, they're just drifting into this. The, the threat is either made up. <laughs> the sergeant or who came down to tell me that I wasn't yeah, allowed the to add the, uh, the footage from the, the day before and of the interview. Be for any legal team that might be used in any future court an times. Right. Right. Um, he he shut down the uh, counter window, like uh, 